This is the BI of the past, basically, uh, before ODIE uh, was formed. This is what uh, a uh, enterprise uh, business intelligent market would look like. Uh, everything was siloed. There were so many uh, pieces scattered across uh, an enterprise. Uh, you had to have uh, specialized consultants to be able to uh, manage their particular uh, engine or application. And so um, IBM came up, sorry, Oracle came up with the idea of combining all of these particular things into uh, one centralized system, and voila, we have ODIE. Yeah, so just, just real quick, just, you know, my add into that is, is that you've got really, not only is it siloed data, siloed division of labor, which obviously e escalates IT costs. So you've got different people doing ETL, different people doing data mining, data modeling, you've got some DBAs, you've got this entire kind of group, this escalating group of, uh, of, of people, of functions, of knowledge workers that, you know, again, drives huge amount of cost, and that's obviously one of the solutions that we're going to talk about. Typical challenges, siloed BI deployments. Again, siloed information, fragmented views everywhere. You've got you know, no consistent definition of any business metrics. You've got salespeople. You've got um, inventory people looking at different, maybe even the wrong numbers. Um, you know, again, across the board, going end to end with some of the, the calculations, they may be off because they're either housed in different apps, in different environments, different BI applications. You've got, you know, you got a lot of different players. A report-centric model. Uh, meaning that, you know, again, the, the, you've got a, instead of actionable, it's more report driven. So you're just handing numbers and reports to people. And then what do they do with that report? Well, they call somebody, you know, an executive. If you have executive level reporting, that executive gets a bunch of numbers he doesn't like. And again, it goes down the chain. But, you know, again, it's not going to be there for the, what we call the frontline managers. So again, the people that actually use the information, the frontline, the middle management frontline don't have access to it. Um, that's that's kind of typical in, in the BI space.